Well, it feels just like yesterday we wrapped up Chalk Talk to end last season. And here we go again on, on the precipice of the regular season beginning for the Seahawks, welcoming in the Miami Dolphins. Get ready to welcome in a lot of empty this year to our Chalk Talk. I have a sense throughout the course of this season as it manifests itself with this line, with this quarterback and the command that Russell has, the skill positions, you will continue to hear empty. I called it a number of times in the preseason. You saw week one in Kansas City in that opening series, about half the snaps were in what we call empty set. And let's just start at the very kind of granular, basic level of what empty is and what it means. It means there is nobody back here. Fred Jackson last year, this was a touchdown pass against the 49ers in week 11. Fred Jackson motions out of the backfield, so it literally is just Russell with an empty space around him. <laughs> no other blockers other than these five guys right in front. And I think we're going to see an awful lot of this for three different reasons. I think most importantly, it fits the skill set of your franchise quarterback. This guy has complete command and control. As Tom Cable told us just a couple weeks ago on my radio show, it's not some of the times that he gets the protection calls right. It's not some of the times that Russell gets the run pass checks right. It is all the time. And when you get into this set, he's familiar with it. He loves the space that it creates for him. He loves the fact that I think it simplifies some of the chess pieces and checkers pieces up front. And it really is something that Russell has done at a very high level to the point and Shil Kapadia wrote about this two weeks ago, to the point that Russell completed 74.7% of his passes last year, fourth in the NFL. Almost 11 yards an attempt. That was first in the NFL. And those are real numbers, and that's not a handful of snaps. That's 16 games and an awful lot of them, and they'll continue to live in it. So number one, and the reason why, is it fits his skill set. I think number two, it also fits the skill set of the people around him. So on this play against 49ers last year, you motion Fred Jackson out, and that could be Chris Michael, and you've seen it this season. That could be C.J. Proceis, and you saw that during the preseason. And he's going to motion out, and it's going to even further clear this box is that linebacker's now got to come out and motion out and cover him. And uh, he runs a hitch route. Jimmy Graham runs a vertical. Doug Baldwin runs an option route. Tyler Lockett runs a vertical, and Jermaine clears it out. So not only does it fit his skill set, look at what it's done to the rest of your pieces. Look at what it does to the rest of your talent. Puts Jimmy Graham in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Puts Doug Baldwin in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Puts Tyler Lockett in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That is oftentimes what you get out of empty, because there's only so many things that a defense can do. And San Francisco decides to rush five of these guys, and you've got five blockers. Some people will rush six. Some people will zone blitz. I mean, there's still ways defensively to cover it up, but more times than not, you get the kind of matchups you want to take advantage, and that's exactly what the Seahawks did in both percentage and in yards per attempt. And I think lastly, and this is what's different about the 2016 season and why I really forecast you'll see a lot of this, because the strength of this offensive line are these three guys. And if you're going to live in empty or you're going to play in it an awful lot, you know what you need to be? You've got to be stout. You can't just have this pocket collapse. And all this space that you naturally create by the formation just starts to suffocate the passer. So give me three of the biggest, strongest, baddest boys you got to build a little wall here. And then if rushers come from the outside, well, Russell, Russell can step up into it and still find plenty of one-on-one -on -one options. It's what he does best. It's what their personnel does best, and to help to protect a really new offensive line with a couple with a rookie and some new people in some new places, I think it makes those guys' jobs easier as well. Get ready to see a bunch of chalk talk this season, as hopefully we're forecasting a bunch of touchdowns out of empty.